Americans love showing their patriotism and fireworks, and there's no better day for both of those things than July 4th, the country's birthday. And uh, the city of Payne City always does a really great celebration on this day. They call it Thunder on the Ridge. And here to tell us about this year's festivities, we have Malia Myers. She is the athletic coordinator for Haines City Leisure Services. Welcome to the show, Malia. Thank you. Well, let's get started. Um, what, tell, tell, me, um, tell me what you have going on with Thunder on the Ridge this year. What's, what's the date? Well, Thunder on the Ridge is on July 4th. Um, a lot of times there's a little confusion about maybe we'd have it on the weekends, mm -hmm. but whatever day that falls on, that's the day it is okay. every year. So this year it's a Thursday, and it's definitely our largest event. We um, spend all year preparing for it. Once it's over, we start for the next year, and we love to have um, people come out. Typically, we have about 30 to 40,000 people come out for the event throughout the day. So it, it is our largest event okay, by far. And, and where where is it at? It takes place at Lake Eva Park, which is downtown Haines City. You can visit our website, which is www.hainescity.com. And we can also um, give directions if you give us a call um, at our phone number. I don't know if you have that, but it's 863-421-3700. So either way, we're happy to accommodate to help you get there. Yeah, Lake Eva is a really great facility. It's, yes. You've got a lot of outdoor um, area, but then some, some the banquet hall as oh, well. Oh, yes. Well, um, I know that there's always a big name, a concert yes. that's going on. So who do you have coming this year? This year we have um, national recording artist Joe Nichols. Okay. So we're really excited to have him. He will start performing at 8 o'clock and go until the fireworks start shooting off around 9.15. Okay, sounds, so. sounds fun. He's, yes. um, he's, he's pretty well known. You usually get yes. some pretty big names coming through, right? We do, we do. We've had um, a lot of people in the past, and we just hope each year we can keep getting bigger and bigger. So we're very excited. Yeah, that's really great. Well, is there, so he starts at 8. Is there going to be other entertainment going on throughout the day? Yes. Um, the event officially kicks off around noon, so we'll have some local entertainment throughout the day. We do have Jill's Cash Box, which is one of our local bands that perform all over Polk County, and I'm sure they go all over the state, but they will uh, start performing at 6 o'clock that evening, so they'll be right before him. Okay, so um, so talk to me a little bit about what else is going to be going on. Is there there's going to be food food vendors? Oh there? yes, it is packed. Um, you definitely want to come early. People will bring um, lawn chairs and things like that to camp out. We have a huge great lawn, which makes this event really nice because it's very open. We do have lots of food and craft vendors that come in, so they'll be there all day long. Um, people sometimes arrive before noon, which is perfectly fine. We get our vendors set up and ready to go. So there's games. We've got a a section that'll be for kids so it's really a whole family event and then another part of it that's really nice is we have a little beach area in front of our lake um, so a lot of people will get ready for the fireworks show um, and they can have a front row view of this spectacular um, thing that we have going on. Now I've heard a rumor that this is uh, one of the biggest fireworks displays in the area is that yes, right? That is correct we are kind of known for that that's one of our things that we make sure as well as a recording artist that's very well known we like to have the biggest fireworks display around okay that so is this the the biggest that yes each year we try and get a little <laughs> bit bigger um, so this is definitely one of our biggest and we also the neat thing that we do is um, we put together a collection of music and it's actually played to music so that's kind of oh, something okay. different we did it last year so it's really cool well that, that sounds really great I can't wait to see it well how, how much are tickets well, there is no admission. Um, okay. It's completely free to get there. Now, of course, the food and craft vendors, whatever their fees are for their items, that's what you pay. Um, we do have a VIP section that's in front of the stage. Um, if you are a sponsor, you get VIP tickets depending on the level of your sponsorship. But you can also purchase those for $15. Um, that is limited. So if you want that, the contact information I gave earlier, the phone number, that's how you would get that. Um, so that's the section that we rope off in front of the stage so you can get front row seating for all the entertainment. Okay. I know some of the barbecue festivals and whatnot that go around go on in the area, you have to buy specific vouchers instead of using cash. Right. Is it like that at this? Not for this okay. event, no. Um, that typically for us is just our Ribs on the Ridge okay. event, um, but for July 4th, nope, you just bring your cash and as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fill up as much as you want. Can, can you bring in food or, or beverages? I mean, you can, yes, okay. um, but there is definitely lots um, 
to have there too as well. Okay. So it's up to it's you. It's not discouraged, but it's not encouraged. Maybe. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. So um, what about um, you said you said kids? Is there um, is you know, is it pet friendly? I mean, I know that maybe the fireworks are not going right. to like it, but typically our park is not um, okay. because of you know things that pets sometimes leave <laughs> behind. Um, uh, but yes, we do uh, prefer no pets in the park um, on a general basis. If you come visit Lake Eva Park, we ask that you leave the pets at home for this event. Um, but then we do have a kids section. We actually have a company coming in that brings all kinds of stuff just for the kids. Yeah. So you, you don't have to leave them, them at home. <laughs> it always looks really fun, but I, yes. I'm not allowed to, to, to play in there as well. Well, Malia, what else do you have? Do you have some, I'm, I'm sure you have some other events going on this summer, so talk to me yes. a little bit about those. Um, well, July 4th definitely is our biggest thing that keeps us wrapped up during the summer. But to close off the summer, we do have a back-to-school bash that is on August the 10th um, at 2 o'clock, so you can definitely get information from us for that. Um, we like to do things to get the kids ready to go back to school. And then after that, we don't have anything until October where we have our Stride for Fitness, which is a 5K and Wellness Expo. And then we also have our Fall Festival at the end of October. Um, but the next thing that we would have would be our Back to School Bash to get the kids ready after summer. Okay. Well, a lot of these events, they seem, they seem pretty big. I'm sure you're always looking for volunteers, am I right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> volunteers, sponsors, whatever you can offer, we would love to have. Um, we just, you contact us um, for either one, sponsorships or volunteers, and we'll get you hooked up. Um, we like high school volunteers, um, but we also do have adults and senior citizens who love to volunteer their time for these events, so we're definitely looking for that. Are there any requirements? Um, not typically. I mean, a lot of times for the high school, we do like them to be at least 16 okay. um, and older. But um, if they're working with kids, depending on what they're doing, like for our sports leagues and stuff, if we have volunteer coaches, they do have to do a background check, but okay. there's no cost to them for that. Um, they just have to fill out paperwork. Okay, great. Um, well, tell me the dates and, uh, and the details again one more time for Thunder on the Ridge. All right, so it's July 4th, which is a Thursday. Okay. It starts at noon and will go to about 10 o'clock once the fireworks are over. There is no admission to get in. Um, parking is gonna be pretty limited, so you'd wanna get there early, but there's no charge for that either. And if you want VIP tickets, they're $15 a person, and those can be purchased by contacting us. Okay, well, uh, well it sounds like a really great, um, really great July 4th event and then that you've got some some really exciting yes. things coming up. Well, thanks for thanks for sharing it all with us. Thanks Maya. for having me. So, you're going to want to make sure that you head out to Thunder on the Ridge on July 4th at uh, the City of Haines City. That's going to be on a Thursday, so it's it's not the weekend. Don't if you wait till the weekend, you're going to miss it. But Thursday, July 4th, it starts about noon and it'll go until about 10 o'clock. Uh, national recording artist Joe Nichols will be performing starting at about 8 until the fireworks go off. Now this is the biggest fireworks display ever for the county and for the city of Haines City. It's all happening at the Lake Eva Park and if you need an address to plug into your your GPS, that's going to be 555 Ledwith Avenue in Haines City. It's absolutely free admission, free parking, uh, bring some cash for the food vendors and uh, for more information you can give the uh, leisure services a call at 863-421-3700 or log on to haincity.com.